who's a team member here? Let's see. People with team member. Two of us. You're yourself. Okay, so let's see how we do this. We're going to move you around, or you should move yourself around. Okay? Um, uh, all right. Uh, I have to be careful. If I choose left, choose right, the symbolism about left and right and all that stuff. Okay. So, um, so with all the people who have team members, go sit with your team member towards this side of the room. The middle is okay, you know. Just, just, you know, get closer. Uh, it'll be great if people over there can come closer, come over. So people with team members, right? So. So we're going to form tables that are people with team members. Does that make sense to you? So on, on this side of the room, keep tables with team members. So if you're more than one person, if you're one person, it's not a team. I know. <laughs> All right? No, 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 no. Don't join a team. Your team is... Your grantee. We're talking about your grantees, all right? Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's let's get back. Let's let's get back to basics, right? So, so uh, this conference is for CLUSA uh, grantees, folks who got right, got grants, right? Based on your grants and potential people who want to get grants, right? So you're supposed to come with a two-person team, right? Internship trainer, internship organizer, right? If you have two people team, that would be the ideal team, right? If you have a team, come to this side, right? Even this table, it doesn't matter, just, just sit with the team member. You're gonna do some work together, okay? All right, okay, so sit next to your team member, so that you can uh, actually talk to them. No, you've got to come. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. If you have teams, sit together and say, uh, let's say you're not even. So ideally, it's an intern organizer, intern trainer, right? But if it's not that, I know some people, uh, you know. Represent him, let's put it that way. You shouldn't still be working. Okay, these folks, there's not a lot, right? So um, I'm trying to uh, get you some people to work with too. So you see where this is going? So that you're not talking to yourself. I don't think it's very good, right, to talk to yourself necessarily. So, uh, so uh, come on up and yeah, these tables are here, maybe come over here, come over here to this table, and then uh, just uh, say hello to the person next to you, uh, hopefully it's two people, two people next, right? So we're going to form teams of two here too, right? If you're by yourself, find someone, right? There's some one more person, so that's fine, right? So we're ideally two people, right? So, okay? Ideally two people. So that everybody has somebody to talk to. Two people is best. Yeah. You're by, by yourself, right? So that's why just sit with somebody else. Uh, that's okay, you should still. You can still practice. Yeah, you can still practice. Okay. Alright. Okay. Um, Alright. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's good to see how people. I, I love to see this cross team camaraderie, right? It's like you want to social, you want to check notes. And, and this is what this is about, really. It's uh, building a community, building a network. All right. Okay, good. 
So what we're going to do today, let's see if there's other housekeeping things we want to do first. Okay, we're going to get started in a minute. All right. Uh, let's see, I'm going to turn to, I guess we don't have a lot of housekeeping stuff to uh, take care of. All right. All right, let me ask you, are you ready to do some work? Are you ready to do some work? Okay, so this is how it's going to work. All right, this morning, uh, the pace is, uh, in a way, uh, more moderated. We don't have five panels to go through. So instead of listening and sharing, the focus of today is reflecting, planning, thinking. I'm going to ask you to do two kinds of planning. One is a long-term planning, okay? Three-year planning, right? This is to say that, hey, we're still going to be around and we still love for CLUSA to support us, right? What's our vision for three years, right? A vision for three years is more than, oh, we'll just increase our number from, from five to 10 or whatever, right? A vision might be whatever you heard yesterday, right? What is it, what is it that you hope this program does, right? Unless you have outcomes, right? Unless you plan for outcomes, then you can hope for help. Does that make sense? Right? So you heard a lot of things. Somebody came up to me, it was great, and said that, hey, you know, you were saying that, hey, in our training program, you should in include something about Asian American awareness. Right? I don't know anything about history. Right? How do I get started? At this point, you don't have to solve that. You just have to think that from yesterday, what are the things I heard that, oh, I want this to be a part of our program moving forward, right? right? Then you figure out how are we going to solve it, right? Do we get somebody to do it? Is there activity, right? Okay. Yesterday you heard people say, that, hey, you know, these students, it's more than just giving them a good time this summer and, you know, writing on their resume. We do want people to uh, be civically engaged, either as a career, right, or as volunteers. If it's careers, what would it be like, right? Maybe it's most people out of college, if they're really interested in that, a lot of mind people, they become uh, staffers to elected officials. That's when they get really serious. They, become a poli-sci major, Asian American studies major. They come out and they say, hey, I'm gonna work for a politician that I admire. I wanna see what that's like. That's actually a career route. They may not do that forever, but it's great experience, right? Okay? Some people would go, oh, I just wanna become a civil servant. I wanna work in government. They actually have great pension plan plans still one of the few places. And now my parents never thought about government. Now, after I take this internship, there's actually a lot of good government jobs. I want to do that. You see what I'm saying? Some of them might say, one day, I want to run for one. So I want to be president. Right? I want to be whatever. Do you see what I'm saying? Right? What are the outcomes? And then we even have outcomes for you. right? So yesterday, I was hearted. I really don't know what the answer was left, all right? Uh, when we asked you to do Four Corners, and you said, hey, you know, you know, uh, I can't remember the prompt, uh, that you would, um, you know, consider, right? You would consider, right, stepping up to elected office, right? Sometime, sometime. And then, do you strongly agree? Agree somewhat, disagree somewhat, strongly disagree. I was heartened to see so many people there. It was amazing, right? So in this program, 
right? We care about that too, right? That can be part of your plan, right? Maybe it's for you, maybe it's for your community, right? And then yesterday we had a session that talked about the gala, right? Not necessarily gala, because a graduation of some sort, right? right? And people mentioned that this is a great opportunity to recruit, to tell people what this is about, to get support, to get influence, to get leverage, to showcase our students in our community, to gather people, all those good things, right? right? But that could be part of your plan, too. And then you might come out and say, hey, in my community, all the communities are different. Right? Not everywhere is like California. Right? You know, it's too much about ourselves. We say, yeah. But no, every place is different. And you know what works in your place. In some place you go, hey, this is Albany, right? And we're completely different from you. But this is our path. But this is Alaska. This is our path, right? And then in one year, two year, three years, what are your, how, 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 what's your vision, right? You have to start with a vision, right? You don't have a vision, you'll never get, right? And then from that vision, how does that relate to your training? Then you work backwards, right? How does it relate to your training? How does it relate to the stu students that you try to attract to your training? What kind of trainers do you look for, right? Right? Some you're going to do yourself, some you're going to ask other people right, to do. You work backwards to get the pieces. All right? So the free year piece is very broad. Right? It's just to get to thinking. Right? A lot of times we're just so short term, right? It's thinking what's ahead of us. Right? But it's something good, especially if you want impact. You have to think. Right? You really have to think it through. Otherwise, we're always just going through the motions. Does that make sense, right? So being at the table these days, when I train my own people, doesn't impress me anymore. Right? In the old days, somebody says, I want to run for office. We're so happy. Right? With anybody that runs for office. Now, our standards is higher, <laughs> right? But what are you going to do in office? What do you stand for, right? What are you going to do? What kind of impact? Right? So same with your program. Right? Same with your program. Realistically, what can you envision the impact of yourself? Okay? So uh, take some time. I'm going to just look at the time here. Okay. Um, let's do this. Let's let, let you talk for 15 minutes first. Okay? Why don't you talk with your partner? and share a little bit of what's on your mind and your thinking. Yeah, there is in the booklet a free year planning template. It's just a pamphlet and you know, you can have categories that's not in there. I just want to create something for you to write on. It doesn't mean that you have to fill out every box. It doesn't mean that, right? It could be anything, right? Okay? So go ahead and think and talk. And then we're going to ask you to share.
Thanks for uh, thinking so earnestly, right, about a, a long-term plan, visioning, right? This is the beginning of a conversation. Some of this, you might decide, yeah, this is really good, we're going to definitely do this. And others, this is, we need to explore more, but now we're thinking about it, right? And these are different things, and they're completely good, right? Um, so we're going to ask uh, some volunteers to share. And um, uh, keep it to uh, one minute. All right. Okay. All right. Um, who wants to go first? All right. Uh, it's a team work, of course. Um, really appreciate the thought provoking. Really pre appreciate the thought provoking process. And Hong and I had a lot of great discussion. And um, first of all, we want to increase our diversity in internship um, leadership. We realize that we only have Chinese, even though this is our second year, we still haven't had any other um, diversity leadership yet. And that's increased. Once we have that increased, the source of the candidates will be also diversified more. And the internship um, placement, we want to build that relationship. We heard a lot of other people how they are building that relationship. We want to do that continuously throughout the year, contact them, send them Christmas card, and talk about the internship uh, placement. And we also want to make sure our internship candidates are good. And right now, we do have a slight problem that sometimes it's the parent who want them to go to see this is a great uh, resume on the college application, but we want them to be passionate about what they want to do. There are a lot of other ideas, but I know my time is up. <laughs> Those are wonderful ideas, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, tell us which chapter? Uh, which, which is so uh, Papa, Ohio. Oh, Papa, Ohio, great. Okay, uh, next, who wants to be next? Yeah. Come to you and come back to yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi, everyone. My name is Johnny Lee. I'm in San Diego Chapter 8 Papa. And uh, I am in an interesting situation because I was actually from East Bay Chapter, and I ran the internship program there for two years or a year and a half before I went to San Diego. And when I moved over to San Diego, basically I copied what we did in East Bay Chapter down in San Diego. But I found that because it's the first time they're doing it in San Diego, it's actually starting it over, even though I have two years of experience because it is their first time, so you basically have to repeat everything, explain everything, and have conversations about everything over again. And I think that's interesting because um, I guess that's the dynamic everyone's going through, and I think you guys should probably experience the same thing, that each time you have a new group of people, you're gonna have a different kind of a conversation about how your internship program's gonna move forward. But with that being said, we did take some advice uh, that I, we, we gained from the previous internship programs that we had, and we did move it forward to this one. Even though it's new, we did have the experience from what I did before. And one of the changes that we did make was that instead of just selecting random interns and kids and high school kids that kind of wanted to do this, but I could be honest, they were there mainly for the money, just to get paid for internship for the summer, maybe get some credit for it. But they didn't really have an interest in staying in politics and government. And because of that, we chose to, instead of collecting a whole bunch of kids um, that probably weren't going to stay around. We still decided to just pick a few, uh, notably one of three, and we ended up with just one intern this year. But we're going to focus all our energy on that person to make sure that, because honestly, you don't need 10 interns that don't actually end up going through, following through and doing anything. So we focus on just one intern, and hopefully that person will follow them and come back. And if we can't get one person to come back, why don't we expect 10 to come back, right? So we're trying to do that here. All right, very good. All right. Right, right sizing, right? Not necessary, more is better. Not necessary. Right? Give yourself permission. Who, who's next? So, um, my friend here, uh, we had a great uh, conversation. Uh, since then, we have been thinking of the mind. We are both uh, community advocates. And 
uh, we both agree that leadership actually starts from uh, the grassroots. Um, and uh, uh, right now, our internship program is limited to only students and college students in high school. Uh, we think that uh, uh, the age can be lower, uh, uh, maybe middle uh, school. Uh, and then to be raised, too, it's not training the interns. Uh, it's training intern parents, their family, and, and the community. So uh, we think that internship should be increased, uh, you know, leadership um, uh, should be uh, expanded. And then also, of course, uh, not just uh, API, uh, which could be inclusive. And uh, personally, as a woman, API women, I would like to see really a lot of focus in API women leadership. So that's my input. Thank you. Perfect timing. 59 seconds. Good training, right? All right. Who's next? Please. Uh, name and organization. Yes. Uh, I am Ashwin Vitalia. I come from Austin, Texas. And we have a chapter that is uh, by API. API, I mean, uh, IPAPA as well as uh, Indian American Coalition of Pujaba, Texas. We have about Pujaba, three Pujaba organizers that are basically working with them. That is something that we need to recruit more. In the past, we had some of the Pujaba organizers and they have fallen by the wayside because of some other commitments they have. Uh, that's one. But we are looking at opportunities that is coming this year and next year. So next year being the election year, uh, we want to make sure that uh, uh, people are organized and connected to uh, some of the campaigns. That way they get uh, public service experience. The other one is the census. We have a training session on 13th of this month. And we have asked for uh, uh, interns to come and uh, participate in that one. And as we go and start building up the Census Bureau requirement, we, we, which our organizations will participate, that the interns will go and do the work that need to. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Let's come over here. Thank you. C.W. Chan from CBC. Uh, well, one thing, I'm not, not sure if, uh, well, following the gentleman's comment about uh, sign, uh, signing out and young students the campaign is a good idea. I don't know how they will lead you. I'd rather train them to about issue first, but. Uh, one comment I want to make is, yes, they make a comment about when we try to select our young people, we all we fall into the first impression, we try to select the young, the brightest, the, the most articulate, and then not, well, realizing the other kids who may not be fitting into that mold, but can really go a long way in the future. And also, while we're trying hard to recruit enough people to participate in the program, the interns, uh, the next step would probably be evaluating where you can play the student to. They are politicians' office, they are politicians' office, they are so different, they can provide different kind of experience. And never forget about, within the government system, there are a lot of professional people who are underappreciated, who want to do a good job. You would be more than happy to provide a good experience. I work with a lot of planning organizations, uh, a lot of other government organizations that can provide that kind of experience. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yes, over there, Jesse. Jesse, uh, you heard uh, there's a rumor going on that uh, you're campaigning to bring this conference to uh, Alaska, huh? Uh, next year. Well, uh, can I get uh, a yes to all? Yes. 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 Well, you know, I'm really humbled because uh, this is our first year, but from what I've heard from all of your great program, internship program, I just want to share a simple uh, idea that we don't have to necessarily recruit the, the minor, our minor uh, children, but we have to start the education, you know, at the elementary level. So if it's deeply ingrained, you know, in their minds, the importance of civic you know, engagement or participation, then we can have an education at the elementary level, at the high school level, maybe at the senior level, we start, you know, the recruitment process up to the college level. And that's all, thank you. So, so I want to uh, just say that um, 
Other programs are already doing this, right? Just Your internship program is within the context of a broader program, right? Your broader program might obviously have programs for community members, for elementary school students, and so on and so forth, right? So this is an important piece of your overall organization's mission and vision. Does that make sense? All right, thank you. Uh, my name is uh, I'm from uh, Folsom, California chapter, and uh, you know my sister's chapter is here, Sacramento. We have spin now from that. Uh, anyway, um, the approach is going to be our three-year plan, uh, identifying the right people, especially. And our goal is going to the high schools, and we do have some clubs, Asian clubs, to start with that. And also in high schools, we have a, a senator clubs. All the class leaders, they form as a club, which is a senator's club. You know, going them and providing what the public sector leadership styles are and what beyond doctor, engineer, lawyer, there is one more thing. Exposing them and sharing some slides and motivating them to come to our open house. That's where we are going to talk about APAPA and CLUSA form of internship awareness. That's our approach going forward. Okay, uh, any other people? Yes, uh, let's come over here. Name organization, what's your vision? Sean Yang, Papa, Sacramento. So, for the three year plan, I think that one of the things that I think is really critical is we need to bring in the past organizer and trainer into the advisory role. I think that's critical. I think that it's also critical to bring in the alumna and alumni uh, as mentor as well. It's very critical. Um, and then for me, just want to share with the rest of other organizations is that APAPA is starting uh, a youth leadership academic in the high school level. Uh, I think that it's, 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 he's, he's right. Uh, however, uh, as Dr. Michael alluded to, the fact that there's other organizations that's already doing that, we just kind of doing the, almost like the last step before letting them out there and go hunt. So, thank you. Hi, good morning everyone. My name is Jackie, a chapter president for the Greater Sacramento chapter of APAPA. One of the things that Sean and I talked about is we were kind of um, handed off the internship program this year and one of the things that I think that we should be doing and I know that all of us are volunteers here is try to create some continuity for the program. In order for the program to be successful, you want to have continuity and what does that mean? That means perhaps the leadership team that's in this year perhaps keep them on for next year, because we've learned a lot through this internship conference this year. Is that correct? Yes. yes. I mean, seriously, is that correct? You learned yeah. a lot this yes. year, right, from yes. all of us. Yes. So I think what we've learned this year, we're gonna implement for next year. That's what Sean and I plan on doing. And then the third year, what we're gonna do is, we hope to have a great program, a better program than what has already been in place for a pop-up. And then through that all, we're gonna try to find the next team of leaders. And so that's what we're always constantly having to do. We're looking for future leaders as well as for future leaders who are running the program. So I just wanted to add that thought. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did I see somebody? Yes, Grace. Yeah. I'm Grace Lee, uh, a board member for APAPA PNC Peninsula Chapter. Uh, actually, um, over our chapter, we already helped the high school, Gun High. Uh, Henry Gang High to establish a student club there. And fortunately, we had about 10 kids joining the club. And I really echo uh, Jesse and uh, John's uh, saying that we really need to find the quality of uh, people, quality uh, candidates. And actually, Grace and uh, another Grace and I, uh, we already talked about we probably can, just like all the big companies, finding people 
uh, quality employees from colleges. Maybe we can just go to colleges like Santa Clara and start uh, a table or something to recruit yeah, different diversity of people, not just Chinese, actually. Okay, thanks. Yeah, uh, uh, if I may just comment on that, um, colleges is a really good place, right? So you might think about your local colleges, right? And try to establish some relationship uh, with some faculty there, right? Um, the kind of faculty that you might think about is just find out who teaches political science, right? Go, go talk to them, visit them, and let them know, hey, we have these opportunities for Asians and underserved minorities, right? That in this great internship program we spent a lot of time putting in. It's a great opportunity for some of your students, right? You can ask them to, uh, if you establish a relationship, you can ask them to nominate people, right? Not that you have to pick them, but if you like that, you can ask them to circulate, you can ask them to announce. So certain, so you can, not every professor is gonna be responsive, so Asian American Studies professors is another route. Political science professors. Well, if you just hang around, because the colleges around you are gonna be there a long time, right? So you can invest in building that relationship and then see who could send it to you. Think about other people who could send it to you, too, beyond sort of friendship groups and so on and so forth, right? Go, go think about that, yeah. So on that note, I want to, uh, we, you know, uh, I think many of you guys know me already. I'm Chuck, uh, uh, you know, head of uh, community development at Seattle USA. Actually, on that front, uh, Sandy and I actually started uh, the alumni association at Berkeley. So uh, one of the things I want to comment on that is what Michael said. Is I think many of you actually graduated from your respective local universities, uh, and I think that you guys actually are thought leaders uh, in your respective schools. And so one of the things that as alumni, naturally speaking, I think um, to Michael's point, uh, is uh, you can actually also, in addition to, of course, I mean, you know, knowing all the professors in various, um, you know, like the, the schools and whatnot, which of course I know many of them, the deans and, and whatnot. But I think more important for you guys is at your local level is because, I mean, Hollywood, for instance, right? You graduated from your first year of Oregon, so, you know, you're, you're a nun there, and I think it's naturally for you to actually leverage on the alumni associations respectively of what you already are. Because I think this is actually part of the engagement, right? In fact, I, I started a program with the first um, engineering VP, Chinese engineering VP at Google, for instance, so I ran 50 mentees of mine who are engineers, uh, but mentorship on, on sort of like the, uh, the soft skills, for instance, right? So I think there's actually really a lot of needs of that, for instance. So, so I think, uh, just to finish up on that point, which is, I think many of you, you know, graduates, yeah, yeah, aren't you like oh, Ohio State, right? I mean, so, you know, you guys are right in Ohio Council, Ohio places, right? So it's actually very easy for you go to your alma mater and say, hey, we have this program. And I think it's very easy. In fact, there's a lot of demands, honestly. So this is actually something that many of you guys can actually do that. And, and, and so I thought that was really good. Thank, Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Uh, anybody else want to? Okay. <coughs> Hi, this is Jenny from uh, UC Illinois, and Jimmy and I have a very good, you know, conversation. One thing I want to thank you, Michael, for this awesome training conference, and I love it. I feel personally so inspired. But one thing I, I want to enter as a as an educator and as a marketing kind of, uh, you know, uh, fake. <laughs> so I'm thinking I want to. Um, remind all of you, we, we will be doing a great, great program probably after training this year. Make sure you do a marketing stuff before you reach out to your professors and colleges and conferences and food and events. So have a, you know, handy material, video, you know, the kids video, I think some of the program you mentioned, and also a, a documentation. You know, uh, one thing I learned this year, this is our first year, but I felt we, we are doing pretty good. You know, the reason I think is because at the beginning I put together, you know, what is UCA Illinois? And what is this uh, CLU has said, you know, grant? And what we are doing. At that time we haven't really started, but I kind of saw a, a, a timeline. 
Okay, so this is what we'll do in this whole summer. And this is what we request from your organization, your government. You know, kind of, uh, you know, let them know we have a kid, support you, and then you don't need to pay. <laughs> kind of situation, you know, you find a niche to let them open the heart. And then we find out it's so easy because we do have the connection. But why don't we send out the email and we're like, wow, this is a great program. Why not? We host one or two to see how it happens. So I say, get ready of the material, the marketing material before you reach out will be very powerful. So this is one thing I want to remind the whole team. Thank you. Yes, having a robust uh, recruitment uh, platform, right? And then that you can pass down to. And then all these channels. Uh, in our programs, we also have lots of people that are identified that could send us people. Right? So these might be communities. Some of you mentioned other communities. Let's start pan Asian, right? Who are the other Asian groups? Right? If you create an opportunity and you approach a group and say, hey, you know, I know your Korean American Association, right? We've got this program. We really want really good students. So all they need to do is be really passionate about this. And here's an opportunity. Would you circulate that? Would you nominate? And you can go to anybody, right? Vietnamese group, you can go to South Asian group, you can go to Filipino. You can go to any group and say, hey, we have this, this is really good. Send, send us your best, right? Send us your best. And, and think about that. Thank you so much for that. Uh, anybody else want to share? OK, good. Uh, name and organization. Lagging above our Rasta. Um, consider, compared to all of you guys here, your internship, we are a newbie. We have just started our chapter back in the end of February, beginning of March. And then we did, we had a, um, um, a an event with uh, US uh, Congressman Cox. We have not had a, well, we did not put in into any program and internship program yet. But coming here, listening to your ideas, hearing um, all of these good uh, ideas from everyone, this is what I'm going to take back and implement into the uh, internship program that we'll be putting together this year. And in the next coming two years, um, as we come back to these uh, uh, civic leadership um, conferences, we will update everyone and all the ideas that I have gained today and continue to keep um, listening and implementing whatever we learn on from here on. Thank you so much for that. That's actually a great segue to our next thing. Uh, is there anybody that's burning that you say, hey, I have to say something, you know? I want to give you an opportunity. I'm burning. And so you're burning. Like, uh, I'm afraid of people that are burning, so I have to come over and let you burn. One minute. I, I, uh, Jeff, Jeff He from CDMO ACA, uh, I'm really burning <laughs> to, to accomplish. Okay, this is a great uh, uh, meeting and I uh, want to compliment the government uh, because there, there are lots of uh, good ideas and also the, uh, for the participants. Uh, this is the, the first year we're doing this and we feel we, we're learning a lot of things. Uh, we don't have a uh, list of uh, certain things to do here, can put specific items on the calendar. But what we're thinking about is that uh, a couple of fronts. One is we wanted to expand our uh, student, uh, people mentioned about associations. I think we wanted to build a strong relationship with the student associations, student uh, organizations, and multiple uh, schools in San Diego. We have a plenty of them. <clears throat> On that front also, I think we wanted to uh, establish a strong relationship with the government offices as well. I think it's very important to think about that. Um, we definitely wanted to uh, introduce a training program where right? people talk about it and we were looking uh, for ideas from others. Uh, from that. And uh, uh, the other thing we're thinking about is that uh, people never mentioned about multiple trainings. And I think that maybe for an intern who's really a promising candidate interested in, in training program, on the different kind of training. Thank you. Um, was there something?
somebody else burning? <laughs> Whoa, everyone's going to go burn out. You know, I'm, uh, I'm uh, actually impressed with your talk uh, a moment ago. Okay, um, I'm, I'm, oh, me? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Hardy Lee uh, from... Uh, Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to be fish, you know, you know? Okay, uh, Hardy Lee, um, the uh, Chinese Friendship Association uh, of Portland in Oregon. Uh, this table is the West Coast table, by the way. But anyway, we, are, we just started. We just started. Um, we have nothing to share. I just want to ask a question. You know? <laughs> well, honestly, right? So, anyway. Um, when you talk about a training, don't you want to have a candidate continue to do more than one year? You know, I know we talk about continuity. If uh, a kid only say, oh, I want to come here for one year, you know, I mean, that means a lot. It means still thinking. It's not very hard to be a future public server, right? But, you know, uh, so, I'm, so I'm just asking if, uh, you know, when you choose candidates, do you have a specific criteria? Hey, you know, we we like you to do more than one year, you know, uh, any experience to share on that. If I may, in the interest of time, let me just address that. Um, so sometimes uh, interns can come back, so like the, you can see who's interested, very interested. You can come, have them come back and play a slightly different role, right? They can help with a little bit of leadership role of a different office. What you don't want them to do is exactly do the same thing, same office, same thing, right? They need a challenge, right? So they come back and maybe you know, give them more responsibility, right? And, and, and that's great. That, that'll help you out a lot. They can help with different things, depending on what, they, what, what you think of this. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, All right. So I'm yeah. glad if you have that problem, that's a good problem to have. We have never seen anyone come back to yeah. say, can I do it one more time? Exactly. So so that might be your goal. You might want to make them want to come back, even if they can't. You see what I'm saying? Right? At least there's a feeling, right? Feeling that, whoa, this is so good, I don't like it. Of course, if life moves on, very few people would or whatnot. But if you create a position and you see somebody really good and you say, whoa, you know, right? You're not limited. You have an option. We're going to groom you a little bit more. We're going to, we feel like we, we can still give you something. Come on back. Come work with us. Okay? There you go for that office. Okay, other people. Um, can I bring you to say a few words? <laughs> <laughs> I need burning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm Tracy Wu from San Diego, Alliance of Chinese Americans. Uh, well, this is our first year, as uh, Jeff mentioned. Uh, I, don't, I didn't think that we have something to share, but now that I'm thinking about it, I, actually recruiting students is a, is a big thing for us. We recruited 16 students from colleges, from various colleges, from UCSD, San Diego State, UCLA, UC Irvine. Two of the students were from, uh, uh, one is from Brandeis, Boston, and one is from uh, UC Irvine. They are all amazing, outstanding students. And we only found eight positions. So we don't have enough positions to place all of them. And they are so anxious to be placed. So I think we did something right. One, we uh, went to the use, I think uh, the, the college, Korea networking, I think it's called a handshake. I put the ads there, and we also go for went for uh, Craig, Craigslist. My husband did, and, <laughs> and then and then we we even crash the um, graduation API party gala. Okay, we crashed a few of them. Wow. Uh, yeah, and also we used we made it, we utilized our uh, local WeChat group, the parents. Um, WeChat group, UCLA, UCSD, yeah. parent group, disseminating all the information. So we ended up with uh, more students than our number of placements. So I think we did something right, so I'd like to share with that. Fearless. Very good. Like fearless. Okay, you know what? Um, you don't have to, you know, this is another chance. Because right after this, we're going to take a five-minute break or so. 
then we're going to come back and you're still doing some more planning, right? You're going to plan for right this year because many of you, this is still happening. So instead of visioning long term, right, finish planning for this year. And we're going to do the same process. We're giving you some time to plan and then to report up, okay? So you might have another chance. I know HP is burning. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so hot here, alright. <laughs> uh, New York. Albany, Albany, New York. Upstate. Upstate. Okay, we have our own chapter website. So right at the beginning, we tell all the interns, we expect them to write a summary report at the end of the initiative. So uh, summarize their, their experience. So they be uh, under a little bit, of, you know, become a more accountable, and uh, people can read that as a testimony of what they have learned. So I think that way, uh, during the internship, they think think a little bit what they kind of write at the end. So I think that would be a um, a good practice. That's great. Thank you so much. Hey, I have one, one burning. That's good. <laughs> That's good. One, one quick, quick burning comment. <laughs> well, actually, I, um, you know, I've actually had a good chance to interact with many, many, with many of you uh, the last couple of days, including we actually had uh, late uh, midnight uh, ramen last night, uh, which is, uh, <laughs> which is, <laughs> right. Uh, very fulfilling, right? <laughs> Our friends there. Which is why you didn't run this morning. <laughs> yes, I have to sleep in too much. <laughs> too tired. But my point is this. Actually, um, as an entrepreneur myself, and as an investor, and also as a social entrepreneur myself, I think that many of you, uh, and actually the last couple of days of comments, right? Because they say, oh, you know, this is, uh, we have like so many Chinese associations, we don't know where to start. Or, oh, we have like these other people who are not working with us. Oh, we have other things. But I think my point is this, you know, it's okay that if you don't have people who embrace you, but there, you're always, out of 10 people, there's only gonna be one person perhaps who embrace you. But you start with that one person, you start with that one organization. Um, because in Silicon Valley, there's something called, I mean, of course, you know, like Mark Zuckerberg, which, you know, uh, sits on the bottom of business school. One thing that he says, which I agree, he actually has a long phrase. It's called, move fast and break things. But I say, move fast, not break things. I mean, I don't like breaking things. But move fast is you really just focus on, out of the 10 people that you meet, just one person. Get that one KOL work with you and get things moving. So my point is, none of these bureaucracy kind of thing, because that's Sandy's style. He's always move fast. Sometimes he breaks things. But I think he, the point is move fast and work with those things. And, and I think it's amazing with all, you know, hanging out and meeting with all of you uh, the last couple of days, just move on it. And if you have questions on that, let uh, I'll see Anthony, myself, Wai Ching, uh, and one pair. Let us know. We provide the resources for you on that front. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, yeah, really, you should be connected to the CLUSA staff, right? Because they really is here to support you. They're the front line of supporting you. And so, uh, yeah, you can give them a round of applause. They really work hard. Uh, 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 that will really burn later. Yeah. Sorry, uh, I'm really burning here. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really pretty calm, but yeah, I'm so touched and moved by all of you doing this work. I know many of you, I, I mean, actually, uh, every one of you are volunteering a lot. This, uh, this intense training <laughs> program, that means you have many things you need to do to have a, a good internship program. And I, I have many people come and talk to me, asking me how to do this, uh, how to improve your own program. I'm so impressed, and then I'm thinking, uh, as Neil always said, 
like if you want to fly fast, fly along. Like you want to fly far, like fly together. So yeah. <laughs> I think there are many things we can share and we can learn. If you are burning, you want to share your story, uh, finding placement, finding interns, training them, and yeah, I really want everybody can fly together and we start from here and then we can have a more and more join us. So Chang is um, responsible for education programs, right? So that's your key contact right there to move forward. Okay, I want to let you know, some people, are, I don't know why, but uh, you know, we will have, at the end, if we have time, right, that we will do takeaway, right? We'll give everybody like a sentence or two takeaway. We like, I always like to go around the room for that, right? So, uh, but it's only if we have time, right? Okay, so if you wanna, you know, some of your comments you can say for the takeaways, that's what I'm saying, right? Does that make sense, all right? Okay, so anybody have uh, something to say relating to visioning? Relating to visioning. All right, I think I thank you all for sharing your visions. Again, this is a start. I hope that uh, we start a conversation with you. And some of you mentioned very practical things, right? Like this is our first year. How should we really look at this? How do we build it so that it has a life? So that it's bigger than us, that we're just starting it. How does it evolve and grow? Other people go, hey, we're in this midway, right? What do we inherit? How do we make it better during our watch? And then how do we even, you know, uh, turn it to other people when we leave? So that's what visioning comes in, right? And, and it's really hard sometimes, but, but, but I think we can do it, right? I think we can do it, yeah. Okay. People, people uh, have fun over there, and we don't have that much uh, Asian population. So we have come here, just you know, just amazing to see so many Asian people here. <laughs> and uh, we really want to do something for our people you know, because we have like a St. Pete and the Clearwater and the Tampa. Uh, we don't. Have, it's a big area, but we don't. Um, our kids uh, grow there. Um, they for the um, identity. I I hope we can help them for you know for the, for the, how they uh, know themselves or to be an uh, Asian. How to do? Um, because when, like 20 years ago, we, uh, when we go there, um, they were kind of uh, you know so different from other people. But now we got so many um, Asian kids and. Uh, we want to invest something for our future and do something for our Asian Americans. Yeah, I really appreciate um, that team and everybody and that invite us here. Actually, this is the first time and we learn. And the, the, my trainer and I both uh, work for um, healthcare area. We hope uh, we can do something, you know, for our our future. Right. So, so, so happy to participate. We love Tampa Frog. We love people. All right. Can we let's take five minute break? All right.